dear students today we are going to learn of a new topic that is called as strings before going into what is all about strings let me ask you what is a character in c programming we have learned about character set which consists of capital letter a to z small letter a to z etc so small letter a is a character b is a character if i put them in single quotes and we say then it is a character constant so you have understood what is a character so what can be a string collection of characters a is a character b is a character c is a character this group or the collection or the sequence of characters combined together is called as a string so if i put them in double quotes then it is called as a string constant so if i tell you what is the definition of a string string is defined as an array of characters or string can be defined as a sequence of characters terminated with a null character that is slash zero that is nothing but for example consider this is an array okay if i want to store a variable store a hello so in hello we have got basically how many characters h e l l o if it is a character array it will be stored like this h e l l o okay as far as an array is concerned the index will start from 0 1 2 3 4 okay so if it is a string as as we studied in the definition string is a sequence of characters terminated with a null character and null character is represented by slash 0 so in string if it is in string it will be represented as h e l l o and finally it will be terminated by a null character so this is a difference between a character array and a string in character array it is not terminated by a null character but in string it is always terminated by a null character this is what is strings now we have to go into uh, go, go we are going to look on how you can declare a string whenever you use a variable in a program you will have to use you have to declare that variable before the same way if you want to use a string variable then that variable has to be declared before itself so the syntax for declaring a variable is data type string variable name in square bracket you specify the size and then you have the semicolon example char str in square brackets 30 semicolon which means the data type is char so string is always a group of characters so data type is char string variable name is str okay and the square brackets i have written 30 30 str is the name given to the string and 30 is the length of the string it is the length of the string that is the number of characters the string will store that means for example here we have hello h e l l o the size of the string is 5 okay so every time a string is declared the syntax is data type string variable name square brackets you will have to write the size and put your semicolon hope you have understood the declaration of strings now next we are going to learn how you can initialize a string initializing means giving value to that particular string there are different ways by which you can initialize okay first way is how do you declare data type string variable name in square bracket you specify the size that is this much part is your declaration okay and along with declaration you are initializing <coughs> so char str in square brackets here in this initialization we are not specifying the size and we are writing programming so the compiler will automatically check for this and write the size what <coughs> data type string so initializing is uh, so initializing a string first type i say as i said there are different ways of initializing a string first is char string variable name without specifying the size i write in double quotes the string constant for example here i am giving the string as string value as programming 
so automatically the compiler will check for how many characters are there and it will assign the value in the space provided okay another way of, of, of initializing a character sorry uh, initializing a string is char string char string in square brackets you specify the size of the string array okay and then you specify the value of that particular string another way of representing or another way of initializing a string is data type that is char string variable name that is str in square brackets you don't specify the array size in curly braces you write p r o g r a m m i n g in single quotes each is represented by i mean sorry uh, separated by a comma and finally the is terminated by a null character close curly braces semicolon these are the different ways by which you can initialize a string so if a question is asked for initializing a string you can write a string can be initialized in different ways or if you want to write you can write string can be initialized in different ways one way you can write any of the ways that you want okay now normally when you want to read something from the keyboard is you want to read a character from the user or you want to read a value from a user if you want to read a value from user you normally use the scanner function okay same way if you want to read a character from user if you want to read a character from the user you can use scanf as well as you can use gets gets is a new function that you are going to learn if you want to use a char read a character okay for characters and strings we generally go for gets function so you there are basically two ways by which you can read a character from the user one is scanf and the other one is gets if you are using scanf then the format string that you will use is percentage s so for integer we used percentage d similarly in scanf if you want to read a character then the format specified would be percentage s and comma normally for integer we put ampersand a for storing yes here you don't use an ampersand symbol you simply write the string variable name same way if you are using get function to read a character from the user the syntax would be gets you have to specify the string variable name okay so it automatically this get function will then sorry the get function is used to read the input until it encounters a new line or a end of file where a scan if it will it is used to read the input until it encounters a white space so when you uh, when you are using with strings we normally go for strings why because for example hello is a string after hello i put a space and write world okay so normally when you read the characters first it will read h then e l l o and next that it is going to encounter is a white space in a white space kandu yenal automatically scanf will take break there and it will take there is only one word so if you use a gets function it will even though it encounters a white space it counts that space and takes the next string also so that is why we generally go for a gets function to get a character from the user so this is all about how you declare a string initialize a string and how you can read a character from the user next i'm going to teach you is all about the inbuilt string functions there are basically following string functions first one is string l s t r l e n okay it is actually used to find it is find it finds the length of the string it finds the length of the string next function is str cpy which copies a string to another next one is str cat which concatenates concatenates mean it joins two strings okay str cmp it compare two strings okay and str lwr it is converts a string to lower case str upr converts a string to upper case so first let me take what is str len for example hello if i say this is my string name for example in string i am storing hello okay how many 
if i put if i use strlen of the string variable the output will be 1 2 3 4 5 the length of the string is 5 so strlen is a function that is used to find the length of a string okay if you give a string it will automatically give the length of the string second one is string copy strcpy function that is called as string copy string copy is basically for copying a string to another string for example if s1 is a string and s2 is a string if s1 has s1 has hello then this hello can be copied to s2 okay for that you are using strcpy okay next is strcat which is called as strcat which is called as string concatenation concatenation means you are joining two strings okay for example hello man these are two words if i use this function then you can use sorry then you will get the output as hello man as a single word so it will join these two strings together for joining these two strings we use a function called as strcat next is string compare what is string compare function do is if you have two strings for example s1 and s2 in s1 it is there hello and here also hello okay so if you compare s1 and s2 then the here the output will be it is true that means it is checking for if it is h here if it first uh, s1 il ulla first character h aanu nokkum s2 il ulla first character h aanu nokkum that means case sensitive aanu nokkum if it is capital letter here also it should be capital letter it will check for both the strings and if it is same it will return the value true that is for why you go for string compare next you have something called as strlwr that means if i have a string named s1 and it has a value hello in capital letters if i use a function string lower it will convert this capital letter into small letter so the output will be hello then you have something called as str upr which converts your upper case lower case to upper case okay so these are the basic inbuilt functions that you have first one is strlen strcpy strcat strcmp strlwr and strupr so these are the basic functions inbuilt fun function in with respect to strings this is a basic outline that you have to study with respect to strings and i hope that you have understood this short video and if you've got any doubts or clarifications please feel to feel to contact me and let me know your doubts thank you